Welcome back my sweet friends. It is Monday today and I just decided I wanted to start filming a reading vlog. So here we are. It just hit 4 p.m. I've finished my work for the day, which is absolutely stunning. So I think now I'm going to read and I think scrapbook. I think I actually want to listen to an audiobook. And I just had a hold from the library come in for this book, which is Stalking Jack the Ripper. So I think I'm gonna listen to this and start my week off strong. This is YA mystery. I don't think it's fantasy, but I guess we'll see. This is like my favorite way to spend my afternoons, doing a little craft, reading a book or listening to an audiobook. Can't get much better than this. Also, please, no one mentioned to me that last night at the Eras tour in Melbourne, night three, <sighs> mother did a mashup of come back be here and daylight like i actually don't i don't want to talk about it so we're not going to we're going to pretend it never happened because she's going to sing daylight at my show actually anyway i'm going to export this video that i've been working on today and delete some old footage i have a lot to update in my scrapbook so we have our work cut out for us today and when i was at the shops i also bought some new glue tape which is great because i love using this and i had previously run out. I think first up I want to write down like what I want each spread to be so that I don't get them mixed up. But I haven't even finished January I don't think. I literally got halfway through January and that's it. Headphones on, scrapbook and audiobook time. <laughs> listening to this for the past couple of hours while I did some scrapbooking I did some book journaling I also just cooked dinner it's now just like simmering until Liam gets home from work but I'm like halfway through this it's not very long it's only about 300 pages and I think the audiobook is like nine hours and I've been listening to it on like two times speed because that's just what I always do and I'm really enjoying this I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would I didn't really know what to expect going into it because the back of the book just does not explain much so now that I actually know what's going on, I thought I would give you guys a bit of a bit of a description. This book is set in the Victorian era, and I love books that are set in that era. I feel like they are just so... I don't know how to explain it. They just... They're so fun to me because it's kind of like that era of time where girls were... Oh, what is it even called? Like, basically where they have to kind of go to all those parties and, you know, have arranged marriages and, and like, have a good reputation and, like, don't do anything bad so that you look favorable to the men in your circle and you know it's like your season of courting or whatever they call it I don't really even know I love books set in that era because usually it challenges that like mindset and it's usually girls who don't want to be just like a wife or a mother it's like they kind of want to get out of that kind of stereotype and they're usually wanting to do something a little bit yeah different and in this book our main character I don't know what the right word would be I'm thinking it's like a forensic scientist she definitely wants to be a scientist but I don't know if forensic is the right word I don't know anything about that industry but she wants to be one of those people that looks at dead bodies and figures out how they die her uncle does that and she has been like apprenticing under him apprenticing is that a word she has been his apprentice to learn how to do that and it's kind of like she shouldn't be doing that because she's a woman and girls aren't allowed to have education obviously so she's kind of like dressing up as a boy and doing it in secret so she kind of has this little secret life going on and then in the area that she's living in murders start occurring and more than one and she kind of takes it upon herself and also decides to work with another character to try and figure out who the murderer is and what their motives are and all of those sorts of things so she's kind of like looking at the dead bodies to figure out how they died trying to find patterns things like that it's just her trying to find the murderer is the the overarching theme and honestly i'm halfway through and i don't I don't know who it is. Like, there's a few things where I'm like, maybe this person, but I'm like, oh, is that too easy? Is that too simple? I'm sure there'll be some sort of twist or something at the end. But it's just a lot of fun. I really like our main character. She's a bit of like a... Yeah, she goes against the grain, I guess. Especially for this era and like women in this era. So it's just, it's just fun. I'm enjoying it. And honestly, I'm getting through it so quickly that I might finish it tonight. Like, I might switch to the physical book or I might just keep listening to the audiobook. We'll see. I might finish it tonight or tomorrow. And then part of me 
me is like, do I just like see if I can get the rest of them from my library and keep reading because this is a series or should I, I should probably read something else. I'm really trying to work on my physical TBR, but I really just kind of want to continue this series. So we'll see how I feel once I finish this, but so far, so good. The cover kind of threw me off. I was like, what is this? But it's a fun time. It is. We love a little Victorian era murder mystery. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday and I ended up finishing Stalking Jack the Ripper last night. I honestly just stayed up to finish it specifically because I got pretty close to the end and I was like, why not just stay up and finish it? I really enjoyed this. It was so much fun. I think I'm gonna give it four stars because it kept me interested the whole time. I didn't guess who the killer was until like right at the end, like maybe 30 pages before they like announced who it was. So I feel like I can't really say I guessed it because I only guessed it like right before but it did catch me by surprise like when I worked it out I was like oh that makes so much sense and I love it when you're reading like a thriller or a mystery and the ending makes sense but you still don't guess it right until the end that's like the best thing ever I hate it when you get to the end of the mystery and they're like this is who the bad person was and you're like I never could have guessed that like that does not does not really add up like it's so out of left field and I also don't like it when it's too obvious so this was just it was perfect to me I don't know if I'm just dumb like I don't know if everyone just guesses it but I had a lot of Fun. And I definitely want to continue the series. I I don't really know what the rest of the series is because this mystery was very like like they they solved the mystery in this book. So I don't know if the next few books follow the same characters but different mysteries or if they follow just like totally different stories. I don't know. I honestly might start the second one later this week. We'll see how I feel. But I don't own any of the rest of the books and I'm trying to work on my physical TBR. So we will see. But yeah, finished this last night. Four stars. A lot of fun. If you think a Victorian era mystery who done it sounds like something you'd enjoy definitely recommend they're basically just trying to find the murderer i will say there is a little bit of like gore because her whole job is looking at dead bodies to figure out how they die and sometimes it's described so that wasn't like my favorite thing ever that's not something i necessarily like enjoy but it wasn't so much that i couldn't read it it was just like you know sometimes that i was like ew <laughs> okay but like i said today is tuesday and i ended up starting a new book on my kindle this morning i started bride by ellie hazelwood i've seen every on reading it recently. Bride is Ali Hazelwood's newest release and it is a fantasy romance which is new for Ali Hazelwood like she hasn't released any fantasy books before and I'm pretty sure it follows a marriage of convenience or an arranged marriage or something along those lines between a werewolf and a vampire and that's that's all I know. So I'm intrigued. I have heard incredible reviews about it. It only came out at the beginning of February and I don't think I've seen a bad review. Every review I've personally seen I think has been four stars or above. I just wanted to check it out for myself and I've loved everything else that Ali Hazelwood has released so I decided to get it on my Kindle. I think I read about 15% of that this morning so not a crazy amount but I'm definitely you know on my way and today my plans are just honestly packing for a trip that I leave on tomorrow and a bunch of cleaning and just like house chore type things so I think I'm gonna start a new audiobook because the things I'm doing today really lend myself to listening to an audiobook and maybe get some more of bride done we'll see and I also need to decide what I want to take with me in terms of books on my trip it's like three days so I probably won't get like that much reading done but that's a later problem we'll discuss that later i've been cleaning and packing all morning i started in an audiobook but i might talk about that when i'm a bit further into it however i have a package and it is book related so it's not a book but it's book related so i thought we could open it together this is from books with jess I will link her website down below. I have ordered a couple times from her and I just love her stuff so much. She sells stickers, she sells like sweatshirts and t-shirts. I have a gray crew neck that says How's the Weather Parks. That is from her shop. But she recently came out with a new Magnolia Parks related item. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, order. So I'm very ex, wait a second. There are two items in here. This is so cute. Okay, so this is the item that I ordered. Oh, thank you so much, Jess, for adding another little tea in. That's so sweet. But how gorgeous is this t-shirt? It's pink and it says how many loves you get in a lifetime with a little bee on it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's so perfect. Is this my like fifth Magnolia Parks related clothing item? Probably. But I don't care because, oh, I love it. I got a large, by the way. And obviously it's gonna be 
quite oversized, but that's what I wanted because I live in oversized tees. And then she sent me this one. Oh, that's so cute. It's red and it says, if someone loves a flower, which is gonna look so cute with my little red sambas. I love it. Someone loves a flower. What is that from? If someone loves a flower of which just one single blossom grows in all of the millions of stars, it is enough to make him happy just to look at the stars. Quote by Ant Antoine, oh, I don't know how to say his name. That's such a beautiful quote though. Oh, is it from the, oh, is it from The Little Prince? I've not read The Little Prince, but that is BJ's favorite book. Oh my gosh. Okay, obsessed. I love that even more now that I know what it's from. Thank you so much, Jess, that's so sweet. Like I said, I'll link her stuff down below. Back to reading and cleaning. So I've been listening to The Raven Boys like on and off all day today as I've been cleaning and doing other random things. And I'm a little over halfway now, but I kept putting off like when to give you guys a little reading update because the more I kept reading, the more I was like, I don't know how to describe like what this book is even about and i kind of knew going in that it wasn't a super plot driven book i guess you would say it's a lot more character driven but like what is this book even about i don't know what to tell you basically at the start of this book we meet our main character blue and she lives in this house full of like psychics i guess like her mum is a psychic and a bunch of other ladies that she lives with are psychics they go to this ceremony and like the spirit i guess of this boy comes and talks to blue and tells her his name and she's never met him before and the whole point of this ceremony is that if you see like the spirit of someone or the ghost of someone it means that they are going to die in the next year and it is a little bit more complicated than that and a little more layered than that in terms of blues situation but that's the main kind of thing you need to know and this is the first time that it's happened to blue like she's never seen anyone before and then she meets this boy and she kind of just is like i don't want this guy to die and later she comes in contact with the actual boy like not the spirit of the boy but the actual boy and she's like oh my gosh i know that you're gonna die in the next year but you don't know and weirdly enough through a few different situations she and this boy become friends and she also becomes friends with this boy's group of friends and they are called the raven boys because they go to this specific private school and those private school boys are kind of just like called the raven boys so she calls them the raven boys and that's where the name of the book comes from but she becomes friends with them and they're kind of like trying to find some information they like hang out and they try and like not even solve a mystery. They're just trying to like figure some stuff out because there's some things not adding up. But a lot of the time it feels like there's not a lot happening. I'm not going to lie. You're kind of just getting to know the characters and like every now and then you kind of figure out something. <laughs> it's just like very difficult to explain now that I'm trying to explain it. But it makes a lot more sense when you read it. I didn't really know what to expect going into this and now I know why because it's... It's hard to explain so i understand why people didn't explain it to me because it's just a bit confusing but when i first started it i was like i don't know if i love this it's a little bit confusing and i'm like not super interested but the more that the book has gone on the more invested i've become the more interested in the characters i've become and i'm enjoying it a lot more definitely not like a five star read or probably not even a four star read i wouldn't say it's probably sitting like at a three and a half at this point but we'll see how it goes i feel like i could potentially finish this today again it's not it's not a very long book and i've just been listening to it like on an awful day and i might you know read some of this book physically as well but i don't really know how this is going to end and i know that this is a start of a series and even if i do end up reading this like a three or a three and a half i do think i want to continue the series purely because if i like these characters a lot more now than i did at the beginning of this book i'm hoping the same will happen if i continue the series like i'll like the books more as the series progresses and i'll become even more attached to the characters as the series progresses and a lot of people say that this is like incredible found family and i can like see it but i don't feel that yet but i'm hoping that i might if i continue it so there's my reading update it's definitely very interesting We have some updates. It's a few days later. So last week I filmed Monday, Tuesday, and then I was like, oh, I'm leaving for a trip tomorrow. I left for that trip, didn't film anything else, came home, caught up on all the work that I needed to catch up on, and now we're here. And I decided that I wanna pick up this vlog again and just keep going because I honestly, while I was away, I thought I was gonna get like a 
least a decent amount of reading done. I was like, I'll read on the plane. I'll read before bed every day. Like all of these things. No, didn't happen. Didn't read on the plane. Read three chapters of my book total over three days. Like I was just a busy girl. So I really didn't get much reading done. So here's what you missed on Glee reading wise. When I last updated you, I was reading The Raven Boys and on Tuesday night, I think I only had maybe a few chapters left of this and I ended up finishing this while I was away. So I finished The Raven Boys. I ended up enjoying it more than I thought I was going to based on like the start. Like when I started reading this, I was like, it's okay, like it's fine. But as the book progressed, I definitely got more into it and more attached to the characters. And by the end, I really enjoyed myself. So I think it was like a three star read for most of it. But by the end, I decided to bump it up to a 3.5 because I ended up really liking like the end and I definitely want to continue the series because I feel like now that I do feel attached to the characters I'll enjoy the rest of the books maybe even more but we'll see so even though 3.5 isn't like the best rating ever I still had a lot of fun with this and I definitely want to continue this and also before I went away I had started Bride this is a really beautiful arc copy but I decided to get it on my Kindle because it's just easier to read on my Kindle and I've been in my Kindle era recently and just been preferring to read on my Kindle. So I started this and I'd only read I think about 15% and then I read like three chapters of this while I was away because I brought my Kindle with me and then over the last couple of days I've been continuing to read this and I think I'm almost at the 70% mark now. I read a little bit of it this morning again while I was drinking my coffee and I think I'm almost at like 70%. So I would love to finish this today but I also have some other plans which I'll get into in a second. So far my thoughts on this book are a little mixed. I'm enjoying it, but it's not as good as I think I thought thought it was going to be. I think because I've just seen such high ratings and such great reviews, I was expecting it to be amazing. And I just feel pretty, like I am I am enjoying it. I don't want you to think that I'm not, but I just like, I don't feel super strongly about it in any kind of way. Like I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is so good, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. It's just like, yeah, this is fun. It's a good time. It makes me giggle every now and then, but a lot of the time I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know, at the moment, I think it's sitting at like a three and a half. So like still good, but just I think I was expecting it to be like a four or above. So I'm a little bit like, oh, this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm enjoying the characters and I enjoy the like vampire werewolf little situation going on. If you don't know, it's like a marriage of convenience, kind of like a political arranged marriage to help create peace between the vampires and werewolves because they're kind of like opposing species, families, vibes. And so our two main characters are forced to get married to just like maintain peace between them. But yeah, I just find myself being like distracted while reading and like wanting to pick up my phone and not like super obsessed. There's some chapters that I'm a lot more invested in, but a lot of the time I find myself just getting distracted. But yeah, I would love to try and finish this today if possible, because basically today is like my most free day that I have all week. And I would love to get a lot of reading done because it's just my favorite thing to do. Like, why wouldn't I use my like most free day to do something I love? And also today is the 27th. So I have three days, including today, until February is over. And that means I have three days to try and finish my February TBR, which I don't think is gonna happen. But these are the books that I still have to read that are on my monthly TBR. And out of these, I think the one that is kind of like calling my name the most is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaffer. I've just heard really great things about this and I've been really intrigued to pick it up. And so I think I'm going to pick this up today as well and kind of go back and forth between Bride and this and we'll see how much we get done. I would love to finish two books today because I'm kind of like, well, I don't have that much to do. So like surely I can, but I don't know if that's a little bit. What's the word? I can't think of the word right now. I don't know if I can do that, but this one is pretty short as well. And like I said, I'm about 70% of the way through this. So like, I think I can definitely finish this and maybe get like a decent chunk of the way through this. Maybe finish it, we'll see. You never know, but I'm gonna start reading and I will let you know when I have something to update you with. Little 
reading update. I've only read like 60 pages, so not like a crazy, crazy amount, but I feel like I've read enough to like give you my thoughts thus far. I'm obsessed with this. This is the cutest book I've ever read in my life. It's literally giving Charlie and the Chocolate Factory meets Miss Honey from Matilda, but like instead of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, it's like an author who writes the character's favorite books. It's literally the cutest thing in the world. I feel like I'm only really getting to the point where the plot is like really starting in the sense of the characters are going to go meet, well I assume, they're going to go meet this author and like start a bit of like an adventure. But we've got all the background kind of like set in place, I assume. And just like the way it's written and the whole concept of the book is so beautiful and wholesome and sweet and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much so far. I love our characters. I love, yeah, just like the idea of the book is so cute. It's basically following our main character Lucy who is a teacher aide and I used to be a teacher aide and she's 26 and that's only a little bit older than me so like I feel like I can really relate to Lucy. A teacher aide is what I did before I did full-time YouTube which is just so fun to like read about a character who does what you do slash what you used to do as a job and she has this little boy that goes to this school and she really wants to adopt him because she just feels like he is not getting like the love that he needs from his current foster parents and his current foster family. So she really wants to adopt him, but she hasn't really got them. Oh, sorry, someone knocked on the door. But I was just trying to say, I'm enjoying the book so much. It's very different from anything I've read for a really long time. It kind of feels like a children's book written for adults. Like it feels, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like a kid's book, but in a good way, like I mean that as a good thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm enjoying it. And I don't think I'm gonna have any problem honestly finishing it today because I have the time and because it's so good so far. Like I, I can imagine myself just wanting to sit and binge it all day. It's been a few hours since I finished this and I thought I could give you my thoughts now that I've processed it a bit. I really liked this book. I obviously read it pretty quickly. Like I said, it's not too long to be fair, but the fact that I just like sat down and read it in a day really goes to show how much I enjoyed it. I think I mentioned this earlier, but if I'm not really liking a book, I tend to get pretty distracted and I'll like go on my phone or just like go do other things. So I feel like even that alone just goes to show that I had so much fun reading this. I think I'm gonna give it four stars because whilst I really 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 enjoyed it it wasn't like it didn't give me that five star feeling and to be completely honest I don't know if it's something I'm going to be thinking that much about going forward like I think I will think of it occasionally I don't think it's one of those ones where I'll like forget everything about it in a week but I don't think it's one of those ones that's really going to like sit in my brain like my five star reads do so four stars just feels right to me I liked the writing I loved the storyline the concept it was so wholesome and so sweet and I think if you just want something that's just going to be heartwarming and just really sweet then definitely read this I think it's classed as general fiction on Goodreads. I think it says fiction and then fantasy. I don't know where the fantasy comes in because I don't think there was any fantasy in this book unless I completely missed it. Like it definitely feels magical in the way that, you know, like old libraries feel magical or things can be written to feel a little magical, you know? I think things can feel magical without being magic. But yeah, I don't think there was any actual fantastical elements to it. It also reminded me a bit of a cozy fantasy. Obviously, like I said, it's not fantasy, but it definitely has the cozy element. So I think if you like cozy fantasy, you should definitely try this out because it gave me the same energy. I do think I prefer a cozy fantasy because I love like a fairy or a dragon or some sort of like magical element. So yeah, four stars from me. I'm so glad that I ticked off another book on my physical TBR. I think I'm going to go back to Bride for the rest of the evening, but I think I'm going to go have a shower and start making dinner and just kind of like chill out for the evening. It has been so nice just reading all day. That's pretty much all I've been doing. I haven't had a day like this in so long and it just it just felt so nice and so cozy. Good morning guys. It's 8 a.m. and it's Wednesday and we are back 
reading bride. I read some of this last night before going to bed and I'm at 84%. So I honestly think I'm just gonna smash this out this morning. Like, why not? I also just want to know how it's going to end because things really have just got interesting. In terms of how I'm feeling at the moment about this book, I still think I stand by what I said yesterday whenever I talked about this book last. Like, I'm enjoying it, but it's definitely not like a favorite. My thing is, I think I'm enjoying like the plot more than I'm enjoying the romance because there's this like political aspect between the wares and the vampires. And then there's also this whole, I guess like mystery aspect of it. Basically our main character's best friend went missing right at the beginning of the book. And she has been trying to track her down the entire book. And that aspect of the plot is the most interesting thing to me. Like I wanna know what happened to the best friend. I wanna know where she is. I wanna know what happened. Do I care about the romance? Like, yeah, yeah. But do I care about knowing where the best friend is? Yes, that's like, that is what I actually really care about. So obviously now that we're getting to the end of the book, I'm finally getting the answers that I want. And now I'm like, oh, this is actually so interesting. But the romance, like, he's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's there. Okay, this is, this is an issue, like a personal issue that I have. And I wanna know if other people have the same issue. So obviously I love reading before bed. I feel like it helps me sleep so much. I'm someone who struggles to fall asleep. Like my thoughts just, you know, go, 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 go. So I read until I am physically unable to read any longer and I basically fall asleep reading. But because of that, I feel like the last like few pages or maybe the last chapter that I read before going to sleep is such a blur. Like I wake up the next day and I open my book and I start reading and I'm like, what is going on? Because I think I'm like half asleep when I'm reading the last few pages. So I have to like, go back and reread the last few pages that I read the previous evening so that I remember what's going on because I don't I haven't retained anything does anyone else have that issue and if so let me know if there's a better way to do it like I'm not gonna stop reading before bed do I just have to keep rereading maybe yeah that's probably the only thing I can do surely did the plot of this book feel clunky to anyone else like I don't know why but it just doesn't feel like it flows like there's so many times where I'm like it just feels like it's like clunky i don't know how to describe it like i want to care about the plot but i find it difficult because it just feels like it doesn't flow i just finished brad it was good honestly i did like the ending as in like the plot not the romance part didn't really care about that but like how things were resolved that was good i liked it i did guess the like twist i guess you could call it about how the best friend kind of like fit into everything. I had a suspicion about that, but it was good. It was, it was fun. I think I'm gonna give it 3.5. Like it's, it's not my favorite ever, but I had a good time for the most part. I got a bit bored, but it was good. And I actually think I'm gonna end our little reading vlog here. Cause we've read four books and that just feels good. Today's the 28th. So I have today and tomorrow to finish my TBR. I'm not gonna finish my TBR. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish one more book, we'll see. But I'm very happy with all the reading that I did over the past week. So we started off with Stalking Jack the Ripper. I had so much fun with this and I'm really excited to continue this series. I gave it four stars. It was just fun. Like I, I really have no complaints about this. It didn't feel like a five star read, but it was definitely just like a good time. And then I picked up The Raven Boys. Again, definitely excited to continue the series. I gave this three and a half. It started out kind of slow and I wasn't as invested at the beginning, but by the end, I felt quite attached to the characters and I'm excited to see how the found family grows and how the plot develops over the next few books. Because by the end of this book, I was a lot more connected to the characters. So I feel like I want to see what's going to happen next and I feel like the other books in the series could be rated higher just because I feel more connected you know then we read the wishing game which I also gave four stars I loved this I had so much fun with it it was so wholesome and so sweet and if you just need like a feel-good heartwarming read I definitely recommend this and then lastly we had bride and I gave this three and a half obviously I just finished it I thought it was good it probably wasn't my favorite Ali Hazelwood book that I've read I had fun but yeah I got a bit bored during some parts I liked seeing something different from Ali Hazelwood it was fun to see just like something totally new and I'm intrigued to see what she does next but this wasn't as strong 
as her like stem romances are to me. Like I definitely have enjoyed those more. I think my favorite is still Check and Mate from her. And this is probably, ooh, maybe like my least favorite or my second least favorite. It was still good. Like I've enjoyed everything I've picked up from Ali Hazelwood, but I just don't think this was as strong to me as her other books have been. So a really successful little week of reading. I enjoyed everything I picked up, honestly, obviously some more than others, but it was just fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed just spending the week with me and reading with me and just like listening to me talk about books. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Goodbye.